Good morning, this is Steve Chapman from Electronic World Publishing. We're here at the start of the second day of Apex 2015 in the San Diego Convention Center. Busy show yesterday, there was plenty going on. We saw a lot of people who were enthusing about the state of the industry. Um, moving into a bit of the material section now because I am joined by Mr. Nishimura, who is the president of Nihon Superior. Mr. Nishimura, Hi. welcome. Thank you for coming by. Thank you. It's good to see you. Can I start by asking you how you think the industry is going at the moment? Well, at the moment, uh, it's getting busy. You know, in the, but the China, a little bit uh, slow, but uh, for, for us, for Nihon Superior, it's picking up. China is slow? Yeah, oh, that's right. Really? Okay. Uh, yeah. no, I wouldn't have expected that. Okay. Mm -hmm. But other parts of the world are, are looking busy. Yes. How is the show for you so far? I know it's only one day. Very exciting. Is it exciting? Yes. yes. The so new, new information, new application are coming up. So it's very, very positive for us. Okay. Now, you were talking earlier about new applications with some of the new materials. Can right. you tell us something about that? Yes. Uh, this year, we have launched a uh, new alloy for at attaching an aluminum, yes. on aluminum. It's uh, used for, especially used for the uh, uh, magnet wire. Yes. Soldering. Soldering for magnetic and motors and that sort of thing. Yeah. Exactly, yes. Yeah. It's a lighter and uh, less uh, electric consumption. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you see a big market for that? Uh, will be. It will be. Mm. Oh, now you can do it. There will be, yes. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> well, that's fair enough. Yeah, create the demand, provide the resources. That's, that's pretty right. good. Now, your company is well known for, I mean, it's called Nihon Superior, but it is exactly. well known for superior alloys. Right. And it's no coincidence that you've gone down that path because you were telling me it's a special anniversary year for the company, right? Yeah, that's right. I'm very, very happy about that. Anyway, uh, I developed the uh, S1C alloy, yeah. and uh, also this one comes out very nice. And uh, this year, the 50th anniversary 50 uh, will, be, yeah, will be held uh, th in this year. So that's why my founder of the Nihon Superior, my father, uh -huh. very, very happy about that. That's excellent news. Yes. Yeah, I mean, 50 years is a good milestone for any business, isn't it? Especially yes. in one that's as competitive and also with so much change. I mean, even in your time at the helm of the company, you must have seen a lot of change in terms of material yes. expectations, yeah? Right. Okay. You know, these 50 years, yeah. industry has been changed dramatically. So that's why we have to uh, offer to the customer new products. All the time? All the time. <laughs> Do you think it'll change as much in the next 50 years? I think so. You think it will? Yes. So that's going to be a challenge, isn't it? It is. Yeah. Are you ready for that? Yes. <laughs> we, we already have uh, some new products already going to be launched. Yes. And you, you do spend quite a lot of your resources in development, in materials development. I, I've seen some of that. Yes. How is the development process? Is that something you're still really pushing hard? Right. Uh, we have a new R&D in Japan and uh, we are developing and a uh, uh, lot of money put, pushing in and uh, hopefully we will have uh, new products very soon. So what's typical, what's the life cycle of the development? How long does it take you to conceive of a new product and then bring that to market? I mean, I know it varies, but typically... You know, because the uh, industry demand is very, very urgently, yes. always. Yes. That's why we have to have a power to develop new products as soon as possible. So I can tell uh, maybe less than one, now, uh, one year. Less than one year? Yeah. Less than a year yeah. to develop and bring to market? Right. That's really tough. Yes. That's very good. Yeah, well, it's exciting. I think it's exciting times. And obviously, the materials that you're involved in with Nihil for Superior are fundamental to the rest of this industry. If we look yes. out there yes. and we see everything that everybody's doing is at some point dependent on the kind of materials that your company produce. So, yes. I would like to wish you every success in 2015. Thank you. Happy 50th anniversary for the business. <laughs> oh, yeah. And um, I wish you every success with the show as well. Yes. Mr. Nishimura, thank you very much for coming along. Thank, thank you very you. much. Thank you.